A Clark County Sheriff's deputy who was once the face of the department is under fire. Captain Rachel Lee is accused of mishandling evidence. Her attorney contends she's done nothing wrong. WLKY Steve Bergen joins us now with more on those allegations. Steve? Becky Lee's attorney believes this is a simple case of a new sheriff wanting to replace the captain with one of his own. Regardless, Lee is facing a merit board hearing that could lead to her demotion or even dismissal. Do you believe that you can fully, fairly uh, sit in Ms. Lee's case? Captain Rachel Lee sat and listened as every merit board member said they will be part of her upcoming disciplinary hearing. Sheriff Jamie Knoll charges Lee has not followed department rules and regulations. That evidence taken was not secured in evidence room. She failed to properly identify evidence, and in some cases the evidence remained in the personal custody of Lee. Department legal counsel Tom Lau cites as an example an iPad seized in a child molestation case. It was supposed to be sent out to be a, have a forensic examination by a detective actually in the Floyd County Sheriff's Office. Um, that was never done. The captain's attorney says Lee told a supervisor she had evidence in her office and did what she was required to do. He contends all the evidence involved closed cases. In a sheriff's department like ours, you have a limited amount of ranks available. She is a captain. They want the captain's rank to be given to somebody else. Uh, is what we believe the real motivation is. Lyle says it's all about not following regulations. The concern that there is a standard that all officers should follow and that uh, if you don't follow that standard, it, it's a little bit of a Wild West show. We have a list of commendations that are that thick to give everybody that's there. She's been a tremendous asset to this community. For years, she's been the only woman in the sworn part of the police force. Attorney Velker says the allegation against his client took place during previous administrations and under a different set of regulations. Captain Lee is less than three years from retirement. Her merit board hearing takes place next week. Steve Bergen, WLKY News.